this song, this song called No Fear. I was, I was thinking about what I wanted to say or talk about when it came to this song, and I realized that this event happened um, a couple weeks ago, and I realized I had never talked about it. And I was like, okay, well, maybe there was a reason for that. Well, the Lord brought it to my mind again this morning. About three, three weeks ago or so, three or four weeks ago, my sister and I went to meet up with an old friend for lunch. <clears throat> and we were supposed to have this lunch meeting the day prior. And things ended up happening um, where we had to go the next day. And this is just a testament to how we never know what God has planned and we have to just trust and believe that when we're a Christian, we can believe nothing is coincidence and that everything happens for a reason, even the bad. And that's hard sometimes, but anyway. So we go to lunch and after lunch, we were on our way home and we were on the freeway and <clears throat> there was a terrible, terrible car accident on the freeway. And we had slowed down a little bit and cars had said to me, she was like, oh, there must be an accident because there was a lot of cars in front of us and we were just kind of really slowing down. And I wasn't paying any attention. I was on my phone and all of a sudden she's like, whoa. And so I look up and to the right of us is this car and it was, the airbags were all out and everything and a woman was still in the car and there were three three kids on the side of the freeway and um, one other car was stopped, a guy probably, probably around our age and he was on the phone, he was calling 911, but cars, we, we pull up and she's like, stay here. And I'm like, okay. And so, and she's a firefighter for those who don't know, but um, so she didn't want me to see anything, you know, that would leave me kind of wrecked. So she was like, let me, let me go look first, just make sure nobody's, you know, dead or anything. So she went and looked and I was really on alert. I was waiting. And I had my head out the window, just like, okay, I, I'm right here. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm right here if you need me. And so all of a sudden she, she looked at me and she waved for me to come. And I was like, oh gosh, now I can't find the handle. I can't find, you know, I, I'm trying to turn off the car. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was so fast. So I find the handle to the door finally, and I'm running and just running down this freeway. And there's a little boy, like, he was, he was six years old, and he, little, little guy, and he was standing, kind of just wandering around. He was in shock, and um, he had a massive, massive, just piece of his head, like, missing, and just this like it just this hole in his head and it had missed his eye by I'm not even kidding centimeters missed his eye and he was just wandering wandering mind you we're on the side of the freeway this is no quiet scene it's like 80 mile an hour cars going past us and I'm like okay then there's another brother and another sibling over here the woman cars went and checked on the lady and she was okay she had got out of the car and she was worried about her boy. And Car sat him down and he was just, what, what happened? What happened to me? And she was just, you know, talking to him. And um, she had said, Kins, stay here for a sec. Uh, I need to make sure that this other little boy, because the brother of the boy, he was freaking out so badly and in such shock, we thought he was going to take off running into the freeway. Like, it was, it was very scary. And he was older. He was like 13. I think he had told me he just turned 13. So Cars is going over to him, and now I'm, I'm crouched down next to the little boy who had the injury. And I hadn't seen the injury yet, because I was on this side of him. 
And so I knelt down and I said, what's your name? Just trying to, you know, calm him down. And he looked over and when he looked at me, I was like, whoa, inside, because I had never seen anything like that. Just somebody's head, like pieces of their head missing. It, I could see the inside and it was just like, wow, okay. But I, I didn't react at all. And he just looked at me and he said his name. And I said, okay, well, I'm Kinsey. And um, how old are you? I'm six and just a sweet, sweet little boy. And so I kept talking to him, cars came back. And now she needed to assess the situation because I can't do all that medical stuff. So she knelt down next to him. And when she had come back, the other boy was freaking out, like freaking out. My brother, because now he had seen his brother's head. And my brother, my brother, just crying, almost hyperventilating, crying. And so I got up, ran over to him because we didn't want him to run out in the freeway where all the cars were because it was like that to that point. So I walked over to him and Carson was with the other boy, the moms over here, the other kids over here. So they're good. But the brother was so scared when I walked over to him and I, I said, what? What's your name? He told me his name. And he said, I just lost my mom. I can't lose my brother. And it broke my heart. It broke my heart. And I asked him, how old are you? I'm 13. I'm 13. And he said, okay. He's just panicking. And I, I embraced him like I had known him my whole life. And he clung to me. And he was shaking, like violently shaking. And I said, do you know Jesus? And he had said something, but I couldn't hear him, so I said it again. I said, do you know Jesus? And he said, yes, 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 I know Jesus. And I said, would you like to pray with me? And he said, yes. And mind you, just to set the scene here, we are on the side of a freeway, okay? And I'm saying all this for a point. We are on the side of a freeway with cars passing by like there is no care in the world to this little boy who just lost his mom and is now afraid of losing his brother. And nobody else was stopping. And the, the medics hadn't got there yet. And so I, I embraced him and I, I asked him if he wanted to pray. Yes, yes, I want to pray, I want to pray. So it went from, he was shaking so badly when I was hugging him. And I just, I said, Jesus, I ask that you would bring your peace right now over this boy. And it, it, I am not exaggerating. I tell you, he went from complete, almost just like convulsing, shaking and hyperventilating to and it was just the fear left. And it was like everything around us, me and this boy who I had never met, became silent. And the fears and the cars and the, the everything, all the noise, it was silenced by the power of God's spirit in that moment. I don't want us to forget the God that we serve in the midst of all of our fears. He can come in and change everything in a moment. Everything can be changed. All of our fear can be wiped away, just like that little boy. And that spoke volumes to me that day. It increased my faith. It, it helped me realize he really, really is there when we call on him. Yes, he is. And we don't have to be afraid. the things going on in the world right now. I don't understand it. It makes me angry. It makes me sick. It makes me want to go home to Jesus sometimes. But we have a job to do here still. Yes. Yes. And it's, it's just not time yet. But Lord, right now in your presence with all my family here, I want to lift up the people of Ukraine and the people all over this world who are hurting. The people who are under attack, Lord. Physically, 
mentally, spiritually. God, we need you, Lord. We need you to come in and intervene. We need your help. Jesus. We need your help, God. Thank you, God. Cancel out all fear in Jesus' name. That's all we have, Lord. All we have is the power that resides in your name, Jesus. And we believe in it this morning. If you believe in it, just begin to speak his name. Speak his name to your situation. Speak his name to the new situations and situations that make you upset and angry. Thank you, Lord, that right here and right now, anything, anything is possible with you, God. We trust you. We believe in you, God. We believe in the power of your name.